Hey, we're doing an overview of adenomyosis. So we are visiting the female reproductive system here. Our focus is going to be on the uterus. And there's three tissue types here that we need to talk about. The paramecium, which is that sort of translucent bubble that you see here. That is just a tissue that wraps and surrounds everything. It's actually continuous with the rest of that translucent layer. But then inside of there, we're going to have the myomecium. And that is gonna be a major player. It's the player in adenomyosis. What happens is this tissue actually gets invaded by our third tissue type, which is the endometrium. And endo is the entire three-dimensional lining that's inside of the uterus. Normally, the endometrium grows, and as it reaches the end of the cycle, there's a bunch of different things that come in, and it actually cuts off these arteries called spiral arteries, and the endometrium literally dies. It becomes ne necrotic, and the uterus, that smooth muscle, myometrium, contracts, everything sloughs off, and it exits the body through the vagina. That's when it's normal. When the endometrium actually makes its way into the myometrium, so when you get that down there, up into this thicker part, it comes off the rails because the tissue now has, the endometrium now has access to blood, but it is going to remain inside the body. It is never going to leave, yet it is going to continue to respond to that hormone cycle. So it's going to grow, it's going to bleed, it's going to try and slough off. It doesn't have anywhere to go, so it's going to cause irritation, pain, it can cause polyps inside the uterus, it can cause the uterus itself to change shape or grow. Uh, and with that comes a whole host of symptoms that are really unpleasant. And unfortunately, because no one knows what actually causes it, and this makes treatment very difficult. This is a pretty basic overview. If you have questions, you know what to do.